Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 16-bit system released by Bandai in 1999, originally black and white, and then in colour. Hence the fact that it's uh, Wonder Swan colour, Japan only. But I did say I was going to do a gameplay of this because I was actually quite impressed, and I wanted to see, you know, if I went a little bit further than just a couple of screens or so into it, how well it did the arcade, because, you know, limited as this is, it is a 16-bit system. Right, press start, arcade, your option, uh, light meter, five because why not? Uh, arcade, so it's got dual, it's got the modes from the Mega Drive. I doubt it's got the extra level at the end, but then I doubt I'll get that far, so we we won't know. Two players, does that mean you could link Wonder Swans together? Who knows? All right, we'll go with um, Gilius, Gilius. Right, come on, skip, 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 skip to the end. Basically, this system it had some cool stuff on it, but for the most part, it was just too Japanese and too RPG. Well, that was the conclusion I came to. So, the volume seems to be all over the shop. That should be better. Skip, skip, skip. Right. Jump. Buzz. Oh, crap. That's the shoulder button. Top right. Right, right one, I believe. Run. Look at that! <laughs> what a massive chopper, ladies. His animation when he jumps in the air, it's not really in, in, indicating or indicative of whether you're actually doing any damage. This is one thing I did notice. When you get stuck between them, you're screwed. Yeah, it's a bit. To be fair, that's all characters. Right. No, you don't. I think that music is on the smallest loop ever. I forgot. His magic is the quickest to build. I mean, it's nice sprites, nice animation. Missing a few frames, but... Oh yeah, anyway, so he's got the quickest magic to build. It's just, uh, the weakest, therefore. How do you... This appears to only want to go one way. Oh, God. I don't want it, no! I don't want it. So yeah, it's graphically right. I really quite like it. Right, well, there we go. I'm full up. Now, is it going to be the two blokes with the hammer? Obviously, there's going to be a bit more. Like, little dude needs to piss off because I can't get up there. It better have continued. Well, this is going to be a really short gameplay. Alright, so it, it seems to be working out quite well. The music's not on the smallest loop ever. So you go get some of that in your life. I want I wonder whatever it is. To run away, my car thingy. Car thingy. That do. No, get away from it, get away from it. I 
have no idea how I survived any of that. Controls are a little wanky. Oh look, hello. Alright, come on. Come here. Oh, bollocks. Irritating issue. Oh no, you got the... I was going to say the pen. More of a quill than a biro, if you will. I've got no idea what that says. Two twos in a bucket. That one. So we're on the, the turtle. Dirty Nick from Terry Pratchett. On a smaller scale. Right, can I chuck him off the edge? That's how you know it's a good conversion. Hold on, it's facing the other way. Dodgy collision detection, it clearly works in my favour. I have to say the collision detection is a bit pants. Oh, look, it tells us, oh you got the, uh, the sword, you had it at the start, I failed to notice it. I mean, let's be honest, right, I know it's 16-bit, but what other, you know, versions of Golden Axe were there? I'd say on handheld, but the master conversion, well, you could play it on the Game Gear, but it's not really handheld, but this is better than that. Again, I know this is 16-bit and that was 8-bit. Oh, it's got the people. It's got the people. Only the arcade version had it so they would die. One of the more effective dragons. Like, can you do it? Oh, you fucker. I should do that more often, shouldn't I? Awkward pauses, concentrating, bastard. Yeah, the controls are ever so slightly a bit. So I was trying to roast the kids. Well, a tad, not massively unresponsive. Oh, there we go, that works. Thank God I didn't have to get off to pick it up. Right, is it skeletons yet? I don't know. Wow. No way his running animation is rubbish. I mean, like, cue the Benny Hill music when the dragon runs. With you on its back, obviously. No, you can't not get on it if you kill them at a certain specific range. Look. This dragon's fucking useless. Oh, I've got to continue. So yeah, do you know what? It's alright. It's by no means the best version I've played of Golden Axe. It's a handheld, obviously. There are limitations. We've got skeletons. That works for me. Controls are a little unresponsive. A little slow in responding. But, you know, it's Golden Axe. Like I said, there aren't any other handhelds, are there? Did it make it to the Game Boy? I think it may have made it. I don't know. That's pure guesswork. It may have made it to the Game Boy Advance. I'm going to raise my voice like this. This is just that I honestly don't know. Brian? Didn't it? Brian? Point to the quote on that one. Those little bastards are even more friggin' annoying than they are in all the other versions. I know that's their lot in life. They're supposed to be friggin' annoying than they are in all the other... Let's do what that one does. What does that one do? Right. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't do anything. Eat some of... Oh, shit balls. Dragons, I'm gonna say the vehicle. Don't get on it! I don't want it. The dragons, vehicles, whatever, are shies and balls in it. You can't get behind me. It doesn't need to. No way! You shouldn't be able to do that on that step. I've just decided. Right, how am I. I was really worried that it wouldn't go up then. That works. 
Full house. Go for it. What? That was a bit shit. How can you fall off the edge if you can't even see the edge? Look at that. That, my friend, is how you deal death. Big fat bloke coming out the door. There seems to be something stopping them from getting anywhere near me. Good. I could do this all day then. They're tiny. They're still bigger than me, but I am a dwarf. Got to be dead now. Yay! And, and words to that effect. Whoever said I was a good dwarf? Is there any point doing this? Because I'm full, or does it make me fuck off quicker? Right, right, thank you. No, 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 no. It's a song I just wrote it. Fuck it. Tend in. No choice. I thought it was going to crash then. What? No. Oh no, it's a night. I'm just going to save it. See, this is where you get stuck. Look, I'm pressing everything. You just have to die. That's clearly a, a bit broken. And also, where you could spam jump attacks in all the other versions, that doesn't seem to be that effective here. I've just got stuck on nothing. No, 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 no. I can't do anything, I can't do anything. How you face the other way? I guess I would call it Golden Axe Light. I don't want food. My mum always told me don't pick food up. It's been dropped from the floor. Especially in medieval times. Right. Can they give me an option? Give me an option. I want an option. I've got no idea what these options do. If anyone knows what they do, let me know. I'm going with that one. The eagle's back. I don't mean like the eagle's back. He's gone away, but he's returned. Oh, fuck off. I mean, the eagle's back. That <laughs> works. I have to say that the throwing mechanic is really hit on me. We in Ray Harryhausen territory now? Yes. So, you know, I've been harping on a bit about this. The controls are sluggish, I'm not going to lie. It is clearly Golden Axe Light. But it's fun. I would have been well impressed to have this uh, on a handheld. I mean, to be honest, in late 1999, what were the handhelds around then? We're still away from the Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Gear, Lynx. None of them could have done this. You know, Game Boy, Game Gear Link, SNK Color, same, same time as this, couldn't have done this. So, you know, this is, you've got Golden Axe in your hands and stuff. What the fuck? Oh, no, but Daylight Robbery, Referee, Referee, oh, shit. I just threw two of them. There you go, stuck in the middle. And you can't get out. You just can't get out. They just absolutely leech your health up. Okay, that bit's clearly fucking broken. No, no, no. I mean, you could say you, you shouldn't get stuck in the middle, but half the time it won't let you out. I got stuck on nothing then. Oh, fuck off. 
See, this is when stuff like this pisses me off, is because it's like, did anyone actually play test this? Or do they just think, fuck it, Golden Axe, let's release it. People will buy it anyway, based on the name. I've got one magic. No. I can't be a boss. That, no, it's just the music's gone. No, 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 no. This middle fucking sticking shit is getting properly on my fucking tits. Look. And half the time when you try and do, like I said, the jump attack, it doesn't work. Well, that's going to do a lot, in it? Look. Basically, it's disco lights. There you go, game over. Golden Axe on the one that's one colour. It's Golden Axe. Unresponsive, ever so slightly controls. Really irritating bit where you get stuck on the scene for no reason. And that getting stuck between people attacking from no sides. And they just leech your health down and you can do absolutely fuck all about it. That's annoying. That's really, really annoying. Pros? It's Golden Axe. Not a handheld. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think, especially if you actually played this. In fact, has anyone ever even seen a Wonder Swan before YouTube? <laughs> anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.